What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to Nimbatus. Today we are out on our, well, technically second and third system and we are going to continue through galaxy number one. I know, amazing name, right? So today I wanted to uh, really do something with the factory. So I've been playing a little bit off recording, just trying to strategize what I want to do. We're going to do this mission first just because it's a simple planet. Uh, and I've been building a drone. Now I'm going to edit this thing. This has a factory module on it. So I briefly explained what this block is all about in the last episode. Basically, whatever's attached to this block will be built and you can build automated drones that you can just continuously spawn so what i have going on right here is something called the flame digger and again like i said i played a little bit off recording just to kind of set this thing up uh but i wanted to see if it was a good idea i have no idea if it is or not by the way to use flamethrowers to dig so if we go to a test flight here, the first one, it actually doesn't work very well. Oh, uh, never mind. It actually fixed itself this time. Before, it was actually destroying itself. But as you can see, we built that one. Now we have enough to build another one. And you can see the moment it fills is when you can build a new unit. Now, the more simple the unit, the quicker you build them. You can see it doesn't take me long at all. And I press one button here. And basically, these things spin like crazy and hopefully slowly fall to the earth and uh, basically mine out the whole damn planet. Now, one issue with this thing is that this will mine resources as well and not collect them, meaning I'm gonna have to follow behind these guys, making sure they're not destroying the resources that I wanna actually collect. So that's the basic design of this. I like it. We might change it a little bit later, uh, but I'm going to expand this out. We can have as many factories as we want, obviously, and that's when it's going to get fun. So if we duplicate this, yeah, you can see we can just we can have multiple factories upon factories upon factories. And uh, I think I'm going to try that. We'll try and use a, a lot of them. So let's actually pull back a minute here. Uh, this was just a test uh, vehicle. I didn't. I don't actually like the layout of it. So we are going to drop down. You know, we'll keep that stuff there because we're going to need to expand out more of those. But I want to make like a giant robot or drone, I guess you could say, because I think it will look really, really cool. And the bigger we have it, the more factories we can attach to it. So we are going to do, you know what? Why are we using these? We may as well use something like batteries. Uh, because this is just going to add more weight, and if we're not using it as shields, there's no point. So yeah, we'll do that. Hell, we can even use the stabilization sensor here. We'll keep the fuel up there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn it to these fuel tanks. I just prefer the look of these ones. I know it takes up the same amount of space, and it's probably better to have the large fuel tanks, but I'm over-engineering my vehicle right now, so I do not need the perfect setup. All right, so that is as far as I can go being attached to the actual hull. So I'm going to have to get crafty here with how I want to attach these things. All right, so for right now, I think that should be good. Let's duplicate this and we're going to go. I don't want to have these things too close together because I think that would make problems. This should actually be good just like that. Now, I think what's going on here? I feel like I think it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, but it looks like this one's higher. I think it's just because of the, the uh, jet placement. I would like to do five, so we should probably expand this out a little bit more. So I think if we add two more of these columns here, we should be good to go, and that's a little too close. That's the perfect distance right there, and that's actually a good setup. Now, obviously, we need to connect to a different one. Uh, there is some strategies when it comes to connection points as well. We might have to re-weld this later. Uh, this is obviously going to be a pretty heavy craft. Uh, but I'm not going to go crazy with the welding if I do not need to. Again, we're not going to be fighting with our drone too much, so we do not have to make it very rigid and stabilized. Uh, it should do totally fine just like this. So, whoa, 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 easy now. Uh, that should be good. I think that's more than enough. We'll test flight it. Not that it's really going to do too much right now. I totally forgot to drop them. There we go. They're now dropped. No, they're not. Oh, wow. Why are they not dropping now? Okay, we're having problems. There we go. I don't know why they weren't dropping. They they do can, they can drop as you can see. So we're spawning in five at a time. We should be able to spawn these things like crazy. And I just want to test to see how long they last. It looks like I don't think they're losing fuel or battery at all. So this is this is just crazy. These factory blocks are almost too good. All right, so we are going to uh, add some steering to this thing now. Obviously, we need to actually steer our craft. So there we go. We got this set up over here. Can we actually, we can put this on this like that and just flip these around. 
Now we need that one, I think, and do the same thing. Now I do this crisscross pattern because it kind of works like a zipper. Uh, these things are basically welded together. So if we did it in a horizontal line, once you start spinning and everything, they kind of wobble. If you can do kind of like a zipper pattern, uh, it just makes the whole craft more rigid. So that's why I have those going like that. Looks totally good to me. That should be more than enough jets, I think, too. So now all we need to worry about is going up and down. So what we'll do is just do two of these and flip these guys around. And this should be more than enough speed. We're not trying to make a speedy craft right now. So this should be more than enough. You know what? Let's just duplicate that. Put that here like so. And you guys get the idea. I think that should be pretty damn good. Now uh, we need to set this up. So let me quickly program all these things. Make sure it's all done right. Okay, in our first test, uh, one thing we're having an issue with is our stabilizer just doesn't have enough power. I tried to put these nice and high so it turns quicker, uh, but basically it's fighting against us right now. So what I think I'm going to have to do is stabilize these jets more. And I actually, let me actually show you something else too. So you, you, I remember me mentioning the zipping or the uh, zipper pattern. It works really well up here, but as you can see where I didn't put the zipper pattern, which is on this long row here, you can see what I'm talking about with the bend and everything. Uh, it's not really gonna affect me too much, but obviously if we can zipper that into this, uh, it should make my life a lot easier. So I'm gonna try and basically combine these together a little bit better. And also what we're gonna do is drop some of these uh, jets down so it's more stable in the air. So I think this should be good and it's not going to fight against the steering as much now that it's more balanced on the craft. So we'll test again just to see if I am right. Yeah, as you can see, it's not fighting against it as much now, uh, which is exactly what I wanted. We just gotta work on that bend a little bit. It's not supposed to flap. So I'm gonna zipper this into this. So there we go. And we're gonna zipper that into that. So on this side, we're gonna do the same deal. We're gonna connect this to this. We'll have to connect this to that. And then we'll connect that to this. And I'm just basically going up and down in here, connecting all these things together. And we'll do it the opposite way for over here. Oh no, that's the wrong way. We want this to connect to that. And we want this to connect to that. So you can see Basically, what I'm doing right now is just combining everything together and locking it harder into place. I think I did that somewhat right. Let's test fly it and see. Still a little more wobbly. You can see. Oh, we have a problem there. Okay, so uh, I did that wrong. The other side, though, let me just make sure. The other side, we might have to add another row here just to make my life easier. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to reconnect everything and add two rows of these uh, double blocks. All right, so I changed it around. We have now, as you can see by the green, anything that's green is attached to this block. So, well, everything's attached to the core, obviously, but we have a zipper going through this, uh, vice versa on the other side, and same thing on the other side. So these should be interlocked a little bit more. I think we're still gonna get some bend, but at least there won't be gaps in between, at least hopefully. All right, so here we go. Drop those, yeah, you can see I mean, that's not bad. It's staying nice and tight, which is what I wanted, and it looks like it's totally good. Now we can turn those on whenever we want, and look at, we've already got 10. You gotta remember, we're doing five at a time. I don't know how much these things are gonna do in terms of damage and mining, but I think they should be good. I should also mention or show you what I set this thing up for. So uh, I still need to get some resources to unlock some more of this. What I want to get next is the 200% digging upgrade because I just want to dig through a whole earth. But what we have right now is digging upgrade one, digging upgrade two, and then the energy upgrade. So basically this beam is not meant for damage at all. It's meant for mining. Uh, and what I want to use this craft for, at least with its current setup, we can obviously change these a little bit and make them death machines as well that are spawned. Uh, but yeah, basically what I wanted to make was a factory that we can build upon when we need to, and that's exactly what this is. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I just really wanted to try and dig through a, a, a world. We'll see if we can do it. Let's go, save and exit. We'll call this one the DG Digger, and uh, well, hopefully we don't have to fight anything because I don't have any weapons. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rely on these bots to do the dirty work for me. This is a really easy map, you gotta remember though, so I'm all about extracting. Oh, I've totally forgot. I'm gonna have to go back and add uh, something to actually mine with because that would be important. This is extremely slow though as you can see. I'm used to going so damn fast so this is gonna be interesting. Now the first one sometimes they, yeah, they duplicate as you can see but now that we got these things flopping around I just chill up here. This 
this is this is almost too much it looks like is there something in there i saw some purple flames oh my god okay i thought these things would drop faster they're clearly working though i mean i can see the ground going away this is just the amount of them i can spawn is kind of overwhelming you know what i guess i could push them down with me come on guys we're going down we're going through the earth this is just crazy like i don't even need to spawn anymore i would never need more than this get out of my way they're actually getting in my way but i could literally just kind of slowly travel around this planet spawning these things and it would probably do a lot of damage for really really quickly like this is just so many things and they're all on at the same time it looks like they're not going to run out of energy either but like i said they will mine out my resources at least i think so let's watch yeah as you can see they are mining them that's the issue with this it's not really going to work with how i wanted it to work but maybe there's an upgrade where we can tell it not to destroy anything. I just want to see if we can take out this whole damn world. Like, I'm literally just kind of going across the top of it, spawning in my little babies and destroying this world. I don't even know what we're supposed to do here. Oh, yeah, destroy transmitter. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, we have some enemies. Now, the cool thing is we can use these things as meat shields, too. They're too occupied fighting those. Oh, it looks like this guy did decide to target me. Some of them are smart, but we can try and hide behind our babies. Oh my god, this is just crazy. And obviously, we're not going to do much damage, but they're going to be busy for a while trying to take out my babies. And they just spawned like 20 in a second. This is, this is almost too much. I will say that. This factory block is really, really good. All right, we're back at my ship. I only went about halfway around the planet just to kind of see, and we started right here so i'm gonna go down i've stopped moving them but just in that little time i mean obviously they took apart this damn planet we're you can see on the map on the top right we're actually like a quarter way in the planet already it might have went all the way to the freaking core there they are i can see my babies oh my god there's just <laughs> there's so many and it, are we in the middle because we're rotating right around i think we're in the middle and it's just a bunch of my babies like yeah that is the middle of the planet at least i think so it looks like we can go up this way but yeah they're all that's why they're all in a big ball they made it to the middle that was so damn quick i didn't even go all the way around the planet so yeah safe to say i pretty much built the planet destroyer this is uh exactly what i wanted now obviously it's totally pointless but it's a good setup for when we want to do a factory build. Uh, now we can basically customize those spawners with whatever we want. So for example, let's uh, change these things. I'm all about the factories today. So we're going to delete all of these because we can just duplicate them later. And I'm going to work on, instead of one that's focused on digging, I want one that's focused on destroying. So we're going to get rid of this digger laser because we don't really need it right now. I like this spinning setup because I think it's a good way to kind of patrol easily. That is, look around as much of the world as possible just by simply spinning. We could obviously do different things uh, to actually uh, move these things around, but this is a very easy way uh, to be very useful. Now, we're going to... I think we're going to use the Drazer. Because like I said, I want to damage right now. And damage we will. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a laser there. And a laser here. Well, and we want to keep this kind of stabilized as well. So we want to make sure the weight is in the middle of the craft. Now, the cool thing is if we go into here uh we can use distance sensors there's a bunch of different sensors by the way uh speed sensors camera tracker not really sure what that is. that does temperature sen sensor altimeter all that fun stuff now what i want to do is utilize this distance sensor to basically shoot so we're gonna put this on a random button like l and we want this to is it gonna rotate to my Ooh, okay i don't know how this is going to work because we're using the button to tell it to detect enemies and shoot so i guess this should probably be the best way to do that and we have a detection limit i want to actually see what what's the button for this l i want to see how far these things can shoot so l okay so now we have a good indication oh that's the mega laser though hold on that's an issue well it shouldn't be a mega laser only one weapon significantly faster digging oh there's a whole new effect okay so i guess that's the ordinary laser it just looked bigger than i thought anyways we want this sensor to be about as long as where we can shoot so it went jesus okay i was trying to zoom out 
Went about that far, I think. Let me see. Uh, actually, it's a little further. So there we go. 40 should be good. And once again, perfect. It's actually exactly 40. Okay, so good to know. All right, and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, spinning might not be the best idea because we're not going to get a long shot. So what I'm going to do is delete the jets as well. And we're going to duplicate this sensor. And basically, we can drop these and they'll slowly drop to the ground. And whenever they pass something, they'll shoot at them. Uh, it actually would be smarter, though, to put these right on top of these so we know it will be a direct hit the moment uh, the sensor scans for something. So we'll do something like that, and we're going to connect this to that. And what, yeah, what I'm actually going to do is try and refine this a little bit. So we're going to do that like that. Uh, is this connected? Let's just connect that to that. And we're going to do something like that just to make it a little bit more streamlined. And we'll do it like that, and we'll do it like that that so now basically this is a death square so to conserve power what i'm gonna do is set these sensors up per weapon i was gonna actually just tell it to press l the moment it saw an enemy but that would make all the lasers go off so what i'm actually gonna do uh that's actually gonna work out because this is the left side of the craft so once the left sensor sees something the left turret's going to shoot well, I guess that's technically going down. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is just for me. It's not for the actual creation. Now we're going to do right. Once this sensor sees something, we are going to shoot. And we don't want it on cursor. We want it on fixed. We got to remember that. All right, bottom detection event. Uh, it's going to press B. And we are going to, again, keep it to fixed and press B. And you get the idea. Same thing on the top. So now all these things should be set up to shoot once there's something in the line of sight of said uh, Drazer, as they're called. All right, so... Oh, God, I keep doing that. I don't like that. Uh, so now we should... I think that's everything. I want to see how long these things can last. So we only have one right now, obviously. We'll spawn that in. And it's not going to spin or anything, but basically we're safe in this zone. And you got to remember, when we spawn in five, this will be like an impossible force field for enemies to get through. It is. It does take a lot longer to build it, though. I'm noticing that. You can see this is a much more complex creation. I do have one that's following my shot. Uh, so we'll have to fix that later. Uh, but yeah, you can see the difference in time now that we've built something a little bit more complex. What the hell just happened there? That was weird. All right, that's right. I totally forgot I have to turn on enemies. So there we go. Now we don't have much to fight. Whoa, the air resistance really helps. That's crazy. Gravity, air resistance, and spawn it in. All right, I just want to see... Bring them over, bring them over. There we go. It's doing exactly what I wanted. If we had a lot more to spawn... This would be probably extremely good. Okay, you can see some of them are following me. I need to fix that. But this works. This actually works, and that's really exciting. So which one wasn't fixed? I think it was the right... Nope, this one right here. Okay, so we got to make that fixed. Now we can simply duplicate this, and we'll just actually delete these. But now we can simply spawn in a bunch of these things, and we'll put that one on that like so, and there we go. So I'm the one thing I'm worried about is the time it takes to craft this thing. I didn't expect it to be such a long process, but it kind of makes sense. This is a pretty complex craft now. Another thing we may as well change is we do not need fuel. We do not have any jets anymore, so we may as well double up the energy output just in case it needs it. And we got to make sure everything's all nice and tidy. All right, but there we go. We have some simple death lasers now. This is really fun. I like the factory aspect of this game. Uh, I guess we could have just used the big panel now that I think about it too. Oh, well, this will work. Look how cool this is. It would actually be really cool if it was spinning. Maybe we'll try spinning later, but it's already complex enough in my opinion. Okay, let's do one more test flight now that we have some weight on this thing. Oh, yeah. You see, it's a little wobbly, but my God, that's going to do... So oh, oh yeah, we, we have enemies. Okay, come on down, guys. The water's fine. There we go. So we are going to have to wait a little bit. There we go. And now we, we are going to need some uh, force fields on our craft because this thing is going to take some damage. And I'm quickly realizing that. These are some hard enemies. We got to remember that, though. Come on, guys. Get in there. Water's fine. It looks like they kind of try to avoid them. They're just out of the range. And that just could be due to the type of shots that they're using. Now, later on, I'll probably weaponize this factory, too. What I did for right now was just add, yeah, a nice force field all the way around it. So that looks perfect. This is probably not the perfect craft, but again, it's all about fine-tuning and expanding out my craft. So we got 114 parts on this. Uh, I think it should be good. Let's try it out. So we're going to save this as uh, the DG laser, and uh, we are going to... Do we want to do anything else? 
Uh, oh, actually, we should have just... Oh, I actually accidentally deleted my other one. Uh, that's too bad. All right, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can always make that simple bot quickly once again. All right, so here we are. What are we supposed to do? Destroy transmitter. That should be simple enough. We can just literally spawn these things on it. Uh, let's go around looking for some enemies, though. And, God, this thing is still slow. I added some more jets to it. I don't know if you've noticed, but still really slow. Having a hard time with the turning. It's, it's kind of fighting itself, so I could probably design that a little bit better. All right, we do have some stationaries coming up. I definitely want to increase the speed of this thing, and... Uh, yeah, you know, for some reason I cannot have uh, this thing going right and up at the same time. So I'm not sure why that is. It's kind of weird. Okay, so he's just going to hit the wall. So what we're going to want to do is pop this up. There we go. And there they go. Oh, we got some drones coming in. All right, let's go nice and high. I want to go right above these guys and drop them and then try and bring them in. So the one thing I'm noticing is these guys, because they're a distant shooter... They actually can stay out of the range of this thing. And uh, that's going to be a problem. They are, once they get in it, though, you can see, they don't last very long. But this is a process to use, and I'm actually so damaged right now, it's affecting me. You know what? Let's go back. I'm going to drop some more sensors on this, and there we go. Come on. Come on through. There you go. Uh, so it's a lot of leading right now. We definitely got to work on this a little bit. But... It does some damage, man. It does some actual damage. These things are stuck to me for some reason. There we go. We got them off. And there's the scanner I actually need after we took them out. So I did lose some of my upwards thrust, and that's making it very unstable right now. So we want to make sure we're nice and safe. There we go. And unfortunately, yeah, I'm always going to kind of lean sideways trying to go up now because I am damaged. But there we go. We'll take out these guys. Oh, I love it. I don't have to do anything. I just drive around. And once and for all, let's get rid of that thing. Come on, guys. That thing's got so much health. And I wish I could easily get to it, but I can't. There we go. I just have to utilize the few jets I have left to kind of stabilize it. Man, that thing is still up. Can it not? It's being shot by it, obviously, so it should die. There we go. I just didn't expect it to have so much health. Okay, overall, I wasn't impressed with the design, so I've went back to the drawing board. I've increased or made the uh, stabilization system much better. Basically, what it's doing now is it's pushing up and down instead of left and right uh, when it tries to balance itself. You can see, still very stable. I added some more upwards thrust as well, and it looks like it's not fighting as much against itself to keep it stabilized, which was a big issue with the top turning design that I had. So yeah, basically it just shoots one up and one down uh, to stabilize in the opposite direction that it's going. Still, I was hoping it'd be faster. You can see, especially when we get close down to the gravity, let's take off gravity for a second here. Actually, air resistance is probably the bigger issue, uh, but it's still extremely slow when it gets close to planets. Uh, you can see how much this affects it though. This is really, really cool. But I have to remember, this is not a speed-focused design. This is a factory after all, so I think this should work a lot better. Let's uh, save and exit once again and do a quick test flight. Okay, so now we should be able to get around a lot faster. I can already tell how much of a big upgrade this was. Uh, I've already done this planet. You know what? Yeah, let's actually go back to another planet. I just want to see... See, the closer I get to the ground, the slower it is. Uh, that's just due to air resistance and, I think, the gravitational pull as well. This feels a lot better, though. It doesn't need to be extremely fast. As long as we can drop off these things. I don't know why it does that, by the way. It spawns in two on top of each other for the first shot, which obviously destroys them. Uh, they still kind of work, but it'd uh, be nice if we could just spawn them in and not have to worry about that. But there we go. You can see this should work just fine. Let's go back and see if there's another planet that we can do. So is this... This is probably eggs, and we actually should be able to do that. This is going to be... Obviously, I'd rather use the Drazer Craft because it can outrun the Mama Worm, but I'd like to... Well, I'm not going to be able to kill her. I don't think this is going to work, but let's just try it. Because the whole point of this one is you have to outrun the Mama Snake. And, uh, well, this thing's pretty fast, but definitely not fast enough. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, and this is feeling much better. So we're just going to kind of... Hit this planet with a bunch of drones. Spawn them in. Oh, whoa, whoa. That actually... That screwed me up, man. Okay, so didn't realize these things were explosive. Let's try that again. And that's what the force field is indeed for. So there we go. And it's so much lighter when I drop my load off. This is amazing. 
Uh, looks like we destroyed most of those. Let's try this again. There we go. Keep away. Keep away. Oh, yeah. The, this is very dangerous for what I'm using, but you can see it's doing its job just fine. I'm not going to be able to run away, though, because I do not have much upwards push. Okay, we're going to have to drop those there just to get these guys away. There we go. I did, unfortunately, lose some of my rockets with that shot. So, yeah, this is not the perfect design for something like this planet. I just wanted to try it with some enemies and we got mama coming in unfortunately we cannot damage mama and she's just gonna destroy me all right take it i don't care man it actually she does a lot of damage but it took longer than i thought for her to destroy me not too bad all right guys so i think we're just gonna wrap up this one here today i just wanted to build i didn't really want to you know progress too much i wasn't building things with uh progression in mind i was just you know having some fun and trying to learn how to build this thing and now that we know how to use this i definitely want to improve it a little bit it's a little slow like i said maybe even dropping it down to three might be the smartest idea because i don't think we need this many factories it's absolutely crazy but it's a good baseline for future factory crafts and uh yeah if you guys have any suggestions on how i could improve this and make it a little bit more better uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below, but yeah, I think lightening the load is probably the best idea and maybe downsizing a little bit. I love the idea of doing like a 10 factory build though. That would be really challenging and really fun. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed just playing with the factory uh, block and uh, seeing what it's all about. Thanks so much for watching and liking guys, and I'll see you in the next one.